We do begin our 6 p.m. news with breaking news from Panorama City where a house is on fire. You can see LA City firefighters on the roof of this one story home at moments tonight. We did see uh, that fire out of control there, that, those flames just shooting from the rooftop. Now, Jeff, tonight, uh, we're not sure if anyone was inside the home or if anyone was injured here, but what a firefight. Yeah, I think so far, no injuries have been reported on the right-hand part of your screen. It's going to be from earlier, and you can see the intensity of those flames going through the roof of this one-story home. Again, in Panorama City, and then to the left is a live picture from our chopper, and they are certainly getting a handle on this fire. You take a look at the firefighters still dousing the roof with uh, water and also have Leslie cut into the roof to give that fire some ventilation and the opportunity for it to maybe snuff out a bit. So it appears that this is a pretty good scenario. It doesn't look like it's a complete loss. It looks like this is something that uh, they'll be wrapping up here pretty quickly. Well, now to our other top story. Russian President Putin ratchets up tension in Ukraine by putting nuclear forces on high alert, even as both sides agree to talk that could end that war. And word today that Russia has taken control of a small southern Ukrainian city as well as a naval base. Ukraine claims hundreds of its citizens have been killed in the fighting. We do have live team coverage tonight, beginning, beginning with CBS 2's Rick Montanez in the newsroom. Rick, with the very latest developments. Yeah, Leslie and Jeff, 352 Ukrainian civilians have been killed during Russia's invasion, including 14 children. Delegations from both Russia and Ukraine have agreed to meet Monday in Belarus, north of Chernobyl. Ukraine's president says he's open to talk, but not hopeful, and he will not willingly give up any territory.